Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Naninga Koe. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. So today we are going to do a double green makeup look, which basically means that we are going to do our eyes in the color green and also our lips. So in this first step that I'm doing is basically I'm taking my concealer and using it to define my brows. And I'm using the LA Girl Pro Conceal High Definition Concealer in the shade Toffee. For this next step, I'm just using an eyeshadow base and the eyeshadow base that I'm using in this case is the LA Girl Pro Prime High Definition Eyeshadow Primer in the color white. So the main purpose of an eyeshadow base is basically to make your eyeshadow stay on longer and it's also used specifically to make your eyeshadow pop or to make the colors of your eyeshadow more visible. I'm just using a brush to blend it all out. Basically, I'm blending the concealer that I used in my to define my eyebrows and also I'm blending out the the makeup the eyeshadow base. Now, the reason I'm blending it out is because this eyeshadow base actually cakes. When you apply it, it applies like a cake. So, if you don't blend it out, it will cake your eyeshadow. So, you have to blend it out immediately because it also dries really really fast. I'm now taking a white iridescent eyeshadow from the Wine and Roses palette by the LA Colors company and I'm using it as a highlighter for my brow bone so I'm using it to highlight below my brows. I know I'm using so many LA Color products but this video is not sponsored in any way. I just happen to have their products. I'm now taking a green shade from the Novena 2 palette by ABH Cosmetics and I'm just applying it into the crease of my eye. The color is in the shade B1. I'm applying this green shade strictly in the crease of my eye. The color was supposed to be like a green with like yellow undertones or something of the sort but my brush is a bit dirty so it's mixed in. Next, I'm just taking a yellow eyeshadow from the LA Colors Circus Palette and I'm just dabbing it all over my eyelid. Because this is not a cut crease, we are just going to blend out these colors and make sure that they are blended well, flowing into each other. And this is what I'm doing in this step. I'm basically just blending out the, all the eyeshadow to make it look nice and blended. I'm just pouring my foundation onto the foundation brush and I'm using the Fit Me Maybelline Matte and Poreless foundation in the shade 352 which is Truffle. I usually feel that this foundation was way too light for me but I again occasionally I normally feel like it does oxidize like it changes color to be slightly darker after some time when it mixes with the air. But anyway you can tell me in the comment section like if you normally use this foundation whether it actually does oxidize on your skin and yeah but basically i will look for the darker shade and 
Yeah, but this is what we have now and we are going to work with it. I'm now taking a green eye pencil and it's by the Clean Color Company. Uh, I believe these eye pencils were discontinued because even this one I've had it for the longest, longest time. However, it's in the shade Mardi Gras just in case maybe I'm wrong and they were not discontinued. So I'm just using it to line my eyes instead of an eyeliner and I'm just winging it a bit. Next I'm just taking the NYX Wonder Stick um, highlighter and contour stick basically and I'm just using it to highlight and to contour so I'm just highlighting like my forehead, my, my, my center of the face basically and also my under eyes and I'm also going to contour all around my face as you're going to see in the video. I think this is a really underrated product because seriously to me it's changed my life like it does work so well so in this step as you can see i'm just contouring and i'm contouring my nose i've contoured all around my face on the borders borderline of my hair yeah that's where i'm contouring I'm now just taking a sculpting brush and trying to blend it all out and making sure that it's nice and sleek and not like a mask. I'm now just taking a beauty blender to make sure that it's evenly blended out completely. I'm now taking the Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder by Sasha Cosmetics and I'm just using it to set my concealer and basically set my entire face. As the powder is setting my face, I'm just going to take my highlighter and apply it on my lips, on, on my cupid's bow so that I can do my lips as the powder is setting. I'm now lining my lips with the NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner in the color mint condition and I usually line my entire lips like all of them as you're going to see, I don't only put an outline. Yeah, so it usually makes the color appear better depending on what color you're using but because I'm using a lipstick in a similar shade I'm just going to line my entire lips now I'm just using the NYX liquid suede lip color in the color mint condition in mint condition now this is a Christmassy color but I absolutely love it like so so much like oh I wish I had somewhere I could go with this makeup but unfortunately we are under yeah I'm just taking the Maybelline Colossal Volume Express mascara in the shade black 
and using it as a mascara basically to comb those lashes. For this step of course we have to remove the excess powder that we applied on our face for setting it and I'm just brushing it out and making sure that it's evenly blended all over the face and the excess is totally brushed out. After brushing out all the setting powder, of course we have to highlight our face. So I'm basically highlighting the areas I need to highlight, which is my cheekbones, um, what else, my nose, along my nose, yeah, basically that's it and also on my chin a bit. Oh and for the highlighter, I'm using the Maybelline Master Chrome Metallic Highlighter in the shade Molten Gold. Yeah, I'm also doing some sculpting over there for my lips as you can see using a pencil I absolutely love this makeup look I just don't know where I would go with it Unfortunately, I don't think in Kenya we actually do celebrate St. Patrick's Day, but if we did, I'd definitely wear this look. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe and to also like this video.